anything per um, an email or anything? No emails were received. Okay, and I'm not seeing anything in chat. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on. Enrollment reports were included in your board packet. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, we'll move on to new business. New business information. Uh, you received the first reading for press policy issue 106. Of course, you do know there'll be another reading and then we'll vote. So if you have any questions after the second reading, we can go through it, unless you have something you need to discuss now. Okay. Um, we'll move on to new business action. I'd like to entertain a motion. The Board of Education approved the Washington Elementary School project bids as presented. Um, again, somebody move. I'll move. Okay. Anas? Okay. Um, Eric and Eric, I did see you guys. You are here. Thank you very much for joining our call. Um, we can go ahead and discuss how things are going. Maybe you can review the memo that you shared with the board in the packet, please. I'm sorry? Eric? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's great to see everyone again. Very exciting day for School District 81 um, on this uh, long journey that we've been going through. Uh, tonight, we are uh, recommending all construction as the, uh, apparent, uh, as the low bidder uh, for the project. We had uh, quite a few bidders uh, come in um, with this project. It was a very good uh, competition uh, to get it. We had um, uh, I think 17 bidders on this project. Eric, did, is that correct? Uh, 19 picked up, uh, 15 submitted a bid. 15 oh, submitted the bid for this, which is an incredible uh, uh, participation in the bid and uh, which gives us confidence in the, the numbers that we've gotten. Um, if we take a uh, further look at that, we'll get that into that a little bit further. But um, with all those bids, we are uh, recommending that the uh, board accept um, the base bid of uh, all construction, along with alternate number one uh, for a total uh, bid amount for $22,293,000 even. Uh, we have done um, an extensive, we understand this is how important this is to the school district. Um, so we have done an extensive review of all construction um, both, both on their history, uh, working on projects, but also on the references that they have given us, uh, in addition to even further references that they did not give us. So we always like to double check and make sure, you know, people give us references that might give them a favorable review. So we uh, delve a little bit deeper into them to, to make sure that uh, the references of the projects that they worked on um, were good. Um, all of them came in as, as good. Uh, we had a few at the earlier stages, possibly not uh, real, uh, one actually just wasn't all that great, but that was a few years ago, but it, all the projects and all the clients uh, subsequently have given us a favorable review uh, of them. And we have a record of that and we'll give that to administration um, once this evening is over. Um, we also have taken a look at um, their uh, financial um, requirements and they uh, uh, comply with uh, what uh, we require of them. They look uh, like a stable company. We even had a third party review that as well. So um, all construction is who we are recommending for a total amount um, for construction of $22,293,000. Okay. So all construction. Yes. Okay. And would you explain to them our, our, our Failure is not an option on the open date, right? <laughs> yeah, we have definitely <laughs> explained that to them at nauseum. We've had uh, probably, I think, three, maybe four meetings with them um, through Zoom. Um, okay. we, uh, initial meeting, Eric probably had even more of that, uh, having conversations with, with them just to make sure that they're good with their number. We've had multiple interviews with our consultants with all construction to just to verify 
um, that they've gotten everything covered. Um, uh, and then we had some personality uh, conversations with them to, to meet the people that are actually going to be working on the project. And we had that uh, just this week. And so um, everybody looks to be like uh, they have their act together and know what they're doing. So that was build us uh, some additional confidence in them and being able to perform. Um, again, we gave them every chance to uh, not accept the bid uh, just because, again, we, want, we don't want to have any surprises down the road once we accept this and get the project moving. We want to make sure that they have everything covered. And so, uh, like I said, we had some interviews with them and with our consultants, making sure some of the things that are typically missed in a project of this size, um, just to make sure that they had it covered. And they've come back and said that they've had everything covered. So um, we're confident with that. And uh, another thing that gives us a great confidence as far as the number is concerned, the numbers came in extremely well, um, especially with that many bidders bidding on the project. They're all very uh, tight uh, in their bidding. Um, I think we had high to low, there's about just over 10% spread between the high bid and the low bid. Um, so that's actually pretty incredible. Um, what that tells us is one, you got a good number. Um, the second thing that, that tells us that uh, everybody was bidding the same thing. Sometimes if you get a large spread between the bidders, they might be seeing something a little bit differently than somebody else and the, the numbers are, highly flex, uh, have a lot of flexibility in them or fluctuation in them. And we do not see that in this bid, which um, I have to give kudos to our team of putting a really good set of drawings together to make that happen. But also the bidders really paid attention to those drawings and made sure that they're putting numbers down to what they see on those drawings. So a lot of confidence in, in the numbers. The average, uh, um, all constructions about 8% uh, lower of the average of all the numbers. So again, that's pretty good. They're not exorbitantly low, um, which would be a major concern for us if they're um, very low and they're, they're not, um, they're within a, a comfortable parameter of that. So um, even with all the numbers, the references and uh, with their uh, past project experiences, they do comply with our requirements that they, we had within the specifications. And so um, that's why we are recommending all construction here tonight. Okay. Uh, any questions from anybody? I'd be glad to answer. And if I can't answer, I'm sure Eric would be able to. No, oh, thank you. Um, you said they had um, previous experience with, have they had previous experience with schools? They have had experiences with schools. Uh, public schools are a little light, um, but uh, they have had a lot of, they've had work with, uh, um, Chicago School District. So they had the one project at Cicero as well. So they do comply with the uh, school requirements of at least three projects of this size. Okay. Okay. And um, I, I think it'll be a little easier going than it was with Kennedy, as you know. Yeah, it should be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Different uh, circumstances, let's say. Correct. So I don't think it'll be that confining, but I see that, you know, we're going for an August 9th open date, so. Yeah, we, well, we got two, we got two, <laughs> we do have two completion dates here. Uh, we really wanted to try to get the uh, building open for, uh, what is it, the uh, year 2022 uh, in the, coming in on the spring. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of that is that all the educational areas of the school building will be completed by that time. And then by August 9th, the rest of the building will be completed. Okay. So we'll be having uh, students within the building by uh, uh, January of 2022. Okay, so January of 22, and then completion in August. Yeah. And um, we're good with the way that, I mean, obviously too late to ask now, but we're good with the way that's gonna work out kids in the building, kids not in the, how, what are we doing here? I'm sorry, I should have asked this before and I did not. Oh, that's okay. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we'll be constructing the brand new building right next to the existing building. So school will be going on in the existing building, which is convenient. We don't have to worry about displacing kids, right? So we're gonna be uh, building the building uh, right next to it. There will be probably some excitement about that. Um, and we'll do a lot of coordination with that. It won't be a clean site where we don't have to worry about 
any of that, which would have been ideal, but that's not the case that we have here, but we have no issues or concerns about that. We will we'll make sure that they will uh, monitor that. So they'll get that new, new building built while the other building is being occupied and, and kids are being taught there, hopefully, and then it can all off to the side and get that over with and, and on to 20, uh, 2021. Um, and then um, in, as of tw uh, January 22, uh, we will be completing part of the part of the building will be complete uh, and safely complete, complete for the kids to start occupying the classrooms that are within the brand new building. Some of the larger spaces such as the Mesia Center, cafeteria and the gymnasium, those areas will not be occupiable yet. Um, and then <clears throat> um, in the uh, August of uh, 22, those uh, building, those, that part of the building will be completed. In the meantime, the existing building will still be up and running. Um, it'll be um, the main excitement will be happen at the uh, spring at the end of school session in the spring of 22. And at that time, there's no turning back because they will be start dem demolishing the existing building. Um, and then when the kids come back on August of 22, that building will be gone. You have your parking lot and the, the site will look brand new. Well, that's great. Great. Yes. And I have no doubt the administration is going crazy right at this minute thing to work all this out. Yeah, they are, I'm sure they've been working on that for a very long time to make sure all that uh, coordination has been worked out. Right. The logistics of that will be uh, fun. We're fine. No stress here. We're good. <laughs> We're just great. You're, Tiffany's looking at me like, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany's on leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How can I work one more in? One more. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, Eric. I just wanted to get an idea I, sure. when I'm looking at the dates today, just to yeah, figure out what was going on. Another thing that them, uh, they came in that they're they're really ready to rock and roll. Uh, they're biting at the bit to get it started, and they're very ambitious to to get this project completed for you. So good. So are we? All right. Uh, does anybody else have any other questions? I, I should have asked this one before. I did not. I'm going to apologize for that. Um, but I have a, uh, Marianne, I have a, um, a video that DLA put together that's actually pretty cool. You're going to get to see the inside of the building and everything. So I'm going to share my um, screen right now, if that's okay with you. No, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we thought we'd give you a little bit of a glimpse of what you're about ready to venture into and uh, uh, what it will look like when it's finally completed. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, I'm going to share my screen. There we go. Good? Half of it. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I can. Okay. Good? Are we good? Yep. Yes. Thank you. 
Oh my God, I can't incredible. believe it. That incredible. Is beautiful. That's amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have goosebumps. Oh my God. <laughs> we got all that space by buying those three homes. I know. Isn't that crazy? It is beautiful. I mean, how much they took away. You know, those three homes took from what we could have. Well, I just want to say, you know, this, this all started with the board, you know, blessing our trip to Harvard. So without that opportunity to go there and, and learn with DLA, I, this, this school wouldn't look this way. And, and then couple that with the fact that we get the opportunity to work with some awesome teachers that worked with the, uh, the architects to just really bring that vision and dream to life. So I can't believe we're here. I mean, I can't believe, first, I didn't believe we passed the referendum, and I certainly can't believe that we planned a school in the middle of this pandemic virtually. So it's just exciting times ahead. And I'm really proud of it, and we should all be proud of it because it was a team effort. So thank you. Guys, it's, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Everybody's hard work that went into designing this, putting it together. We all know how we feel about color and light. So that's great to see. So thank you. I should have left my mic unmuted because I called Hannah down here to watch it. And every other word was, wow, oh my God, is that going to be my school? That's huge. And so um, my attitude sense is it's going to bring some very much needed curb appeal to Lawrence Avenue, that's for sure. So I agree. absolutely oh, great. gorgeous. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for being on the call tonight. Thank you for putting that together for us. Um, I'd like to also, I'd, I would also like to add to Dr. Borgeski's uh, comments. Uh, it has been a major team effort, a very long road. Um, administration, teachers, uh, facilities, people, uh, a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of work uh, to make this uh, come into fruition. And now we're at the next step and it's uh, very exciting. We're very excited and very blessed to be able to uh, be your architects. So grateful to uh, work with an administration and with the school board that uh, 
is has such a, a vision and such a love for their kids. It's just really um, uh, very encouraging in my life, but also my profession to be able to work with you guys. It's just been a, a wonderful experience. Thank you. Um, back when we were even talking about Kennedy, the board's mind was already like, okay, Kennedy looks like it's going to get going. We got to think about Washington. So, I mean, it, it has been on our minds, guys, since we finished talking about Kennedy. And before we even broke ground on Kennedy, we were already thinking Washington's next. So to see it now like this, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, there's not very many towns or townships or areas or cities that are gonna have their kids going through the schools we have. Um, and I, and I, would, I would definitely uh, support that as well. Uh, Kennedy's already gotten a lot of attention. I know Lincoln probably in its day has gotten a lot of attention and Kennedy certainly has gotten a lot of attention and Melissa's right. probably like, great, somebody else is gonna get all the uh, <laughs> people walking around their building uh, that she can give her a little break. But uh, um, it's Tiffany's turn to, to have uh, people. I, I believe you're gonna uh, have a lot of people looking at this and, and yeah. very uh, excited for the school district and what the kids are gonna be able to experience as they go through their educational, uh, their education at uh, School District 81. It's, um, it's amazing, but with the administration we have, the teachers we have, the buildings we have, you can't help but be successful if you're a child in this village. You just can't. I mean, from, like I said, the administration down to the bus drivers and our cafeteria workers, our teachers, everybody is so involved in kids. So thank you guys for being our architects who really are involved with kids also. Anything else? Anybody? Okay, let's go ahead. I'd like to entertain a motion the Board of Education approve Washington Elementary School project bids as presented. I think we opened already, Tina. Good. Okay, call the roll, please. Dosecki? Yes. Oops, hold on. Downs? Yes. Iwanio? Yes. Lukasic? Yes. <laughs> Sada? Yes. Alturas? Delzati? Yes. Motion passes. Again, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you. Okay, um, I don't believe we have an executive session tonight. Um, we had it on the agenda um, to talk about a few things, but we don't need to. And then um, there are no personnel. So at this time we allow for our second public participation. I do see a lot of comments. Um, mostly simply unbelievable, gorgeous. Um, Miss Blazer to everybody. Oh, welcome to Schiller Park. We're so excited. The kids are watching it and they're, they're really excited and we're all really thankful and oh, well, welcome we can't to wait to give them the uh, experience that I know that they're going to get. Well, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody is so excited. And looking at my comments, everybody on here is very excited. So thank you. Um, Can I say something really quick? Did you guys hear me? Um, sure, who is it? We can um, hear you. Is, Kim sorry. Mark. Hi guys. Hi, sorry. I don't look my very best right now. No. <laughs> um, I just want to say, I think Marianne, you, you said it absolutely right. This is kind of just the, the missing piece of the puzzle for Washington School. You know, we have our amazing, hi Maya, we have our amazing um, students, our amazing administrators from, from every aspect of it, our amazing board members who clearly are doing everything that they can to make experiences, you know, unbelievable for students. And I feel like this is kind of just the missing puzzle piece that is really going to transform so much of the learning for the kids. And I cannot be more excited to 
to walk alongside all of you in that process. So thank you to all of you. Thank you, architects. Thank you, board. Thank you, colleagues. And um, I can't wait. Thank you, Kim. I think it's, um, I agree. It, 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 it was a missing piece. Um, not that the administration and the teachers at Washington didn't do an outstanding job with what they had, but I think this is the only way to go. And, and as I said before, you can't help but be successful as a pre-K student through eighth grade in, in this district. So that's on all you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um, I can't even imagine what it's, what it's going to be like for these kids. It's so exciting. So thank you. Um, anybody else? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, entertain a motion that the Board of Education adjourn the regular board meeting of January 6, 2021 at 7.38 p.m. A move. Second. Second. Okay. Um, Tina, we'll get uh, everybody who was on the call. I did you. that already. Okay, and then um, call the roll. Sure thing. Dasecki? Yes. Downs? Yes. Iwanio, yes. Lukasic? Yes. Sada? Yes. Alturas? Yes. Delzati? Yes. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your evening. Take care. And keep the people in Washington, D.C. in your hearts. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye, Maya. <laughs> <laughs>